Hello, it's Travis Edwards with another mental check. Take a shot of your positive vibes. Let's go! Welcome to another mental check today. We're going to continue talking about postulates and then we're going to, we're going to start talking about or getting into what you call intentions, which basically ultimately determines the way that you think and what you want in your life. And so uh, just to reiter- reiterate what I've been saying um, from before, basically postulates, a postulate is anything that you think, say, or write down that comes true. Now, a postulate is created the instant it is started it is thought of written down or said it is created instantly right and we talked about the reason why but we gave you different examples of how it could happen beforehand afterhand in reality in actuality all those things can happen but it's created the instant that is thought of written down or said now the delay in in terms of how we see it on the physical universe is really basically defined by, you know, a, what you call a communication lag, right? There's going to be a delay or a certain amount of time that needs to pass in the physical universe before you, re- you realize that postulate. How, how long that time is, we don't know. And here's the thing, as I mentioned before, and I don't know if I actually, I should mention this. I, one of the questions I always ask is, how can I speed my postulate up? How can I get things faster? And the answer to that question is, you don't want to speed it up you do not want to speed it up because you may not be ready for it yet. And so you need to let the universe work in its way that it comes directly and uniquely ready for it just for you at that perfect time in your life. And that's how it works. Now, what I want you guys to understand is that every thought you have is a postulate. Every single thought you have is a postulate. And you know that you have tons of thought. Unconsciously, you have thoughts consciously of thought so there's a lot of things actually happening so it's pretty crazy and one of the things you can actually you can really ask yourself right now because you can accept or reject any information i'm telling you is either you believe in determinism or you believe in postulates right determinism being that you believe that the world the world is already created and you're just living out your life so you have no control right which is fine you could go that way think that way or you can think of you're creating your life and you have absolute saying in whatever happens to you, right? You have postures. You have two different ways of thinking. So I want to get you guys to understand that as well. But what I'm telling you is suggesting that they are postulates. Now, what you need to understand is the universe is a, a unbelievably intricate. And if you guys want, if you guys listen to this, write this down. The universe is a unbelievably, unbelievably intricate, dynamically changing, hyphen, dynamically changing, Web of postulates, co-postulates, and counter-postulates. I'm going to read it again. The universe is an unbelievably intricate, dynamically changing, hyphenated, web of postulates, co-postulates, and counter-postulates. So we haven't talked about co-postulates. We haven't talked about counter-postulates. Now, what is a co-postulate? A co-postulate is two people, two or more people making the same postulate. This this can happen consciously or unconsciously. Co-postulate. So again, two people, two or more people thinking basically making the same postulate. This could be consciously or unconsciously. Now I'm gonna give you a horrible example that happened to uh, that happened to me physically, right? In the physical universe, right? So me and my fiance, we took a trip to what's called Dominican Republic. And uh, from the minute we got onto the plane to fly to Dominican Republic, I just had a bad feeling. The plane, the turbulence, I had I'd never experienced any type of turbulence ever like that in my life. And we got there. Uh, one of her, I believe it's one of her aunties or one of her cousins um, said, you know what, Let us go, let's go off the resort. And I didn't want to do that. Several people actually in her family said they didn't want to do that. Long story short, what ends up happening is that on our way back, driving back to the resort where we were staying, all of us got into a car accident. All of us got into, all of the family was in a vehicle and we all got into a car accident. The, the driver of the other vehicle lost his life. 
our driver was fine. Everybody in our vehicle was fine. Some had major injuries. Some had minor injuries. Right. So that's an example of a co-postulate. Horrible example to use, but that's an example of co-postulate. Every single one of us in that car was thinking the same way. That we shouldn't have probably left the resort and we shouldn't use that driver. That's a co-postulate. Right. Now, a counter-postulate, right, is a postulate opposed to your postulate. So you can think, oh, I want to be rich, but then you have a counter-postulate saying, um, well, really, I don't, I don't really feel to be rich. I don't want to be rich. I really, so it's, you're, you're, sending out the, you're sending out the energy that, oh, I want to be rich, but ultimately you have a counter-postulate saying, well, or you're acting a certain way, or you're thinking or writing down a certain way that you don't want that rich to come to you, right? It can be many, many things, right? Uh, it can even be someone um, wishing a counter positive on you, right? So it's very, very important, again, to watch your surroundings because I've said this many, many times. When you have people, a lot of people that are for you and want you to win, you're pro most likely you're going to win. But you have people that are sending energy to you that, that you don't want, then you're gonna have a you're gonna have a difficult time because they are their thinking is also affecting you as well. So it's very very important to understand. Now, as I said, the universe is an unbelievably unbelievably intricate web of postulates, co-postulates, and counter-postulates. Now, I'm gonna give you an example of that because it's it's wild how things work. And I, I want to give you maybe one or two examples. Right? Uh, one example that I can think of in my life. Um, of the, the universe and how everything conspires. When I was starting my business called Hustle Sweat, um, which was called Your Fit Body Now before, um, and I had left the corporate world, um, I had made a posture that I, you know, I want to, the posture was that I want to be able to run my business full time and I need a client, right? I need a, I need a client to appear somewhere. I need a client. And um, there was this guy named James. I, had no, I did not know of James yet, but I met him. So I just kind of lost. I was kind of just left my job or I got laid off from my job and I was around looking around. I was kind of lost. And I just need to get out. And so I decided um, that, you know what, let me go to the bar. I'm going to go to the bar. I just want to go to the bar. I got to get a drink. I, <laughs> I had to go and get a drink. And so um, I live in a condo building here in Mississauga. And I said, you know what? I'm going to go downstairs and go to the All-Stars and get a drink. So I go to this bar. And lo and behold, I go there. I sit down. I see my barber, the guy that cuts my hair. I see, I see my barber sitting there. He's there. He's like, Travis, what's going on? I'm like, what's going on, man? So I go sit beside him. And uh, we're chatting up, we're watching the game, and I'm drinking. And then he says, hey, these are my friend. This is my, uh, this is my friend, James. This is uh, his other friend and his other friend. And he kept, I couldn't remember the other guy's name, but I remember James because it was, it was interesting, right? And then he proceeds to open his mouth. The barber proceeds to open his mouth and say, you know, he's a trainer. He trains, he's really good at training. And James says, you know what? I'm looking for a trainer. I've been looking for a trainer. I'm going to be doing a marathon the Boston Marathon, I need to get prepared for that. And he's like, I might consider working with you. We exchange contacts. And then fast forward to fast forward the story, right? Um, me and James actually, he became my first client when I transitioned the business to House of Sweat. Not the first client of your friend, but now, but the first client when I transitioned to House of Sweat. And then after that, I found clients, more clients and more clients. But that's an example of how the, the world is dynamically changed. Like it's, it's, it's a web of different things. In that story, there was three people there, three people there that literally was impacted by the universe. It was insane in the sense that, number one, I made a postulate that I wanted to find a client, not any client. I wanted a very well-paying client. Number two, James was looking for, possibly looking for a trainer and wanted a really, really good trainer that actually cared about him because I, I found out after. And the barber made the introduction and so happened to open his mouth and say, well, he's a trainer. He didn't have to say that. He didn't know James was even training for the Boston Marathon, but he opened his mouth and said it, right? So James made a postulate, I made a postulate, 
right? Right? But what made us even go and be in the same place at the same time? Which is really even more crazy to you guys. For us to even be there. My barber could have been there. Maybe James didn't show up that day. Right? Maybe my barber didn't show up at all. Right? This is how the universe works for you when you want something. And that's an example of two people. There's like 8 billion people in the world. Can you imagine? Right? Even the story with my mentor, uh, Raymond Aaron, and how that whole happened where his, his wife was looking for a partner that had written two chicken soup for the soul books, right? How does that even happen? That this gentleman happens to write two chicken soups for the soul books, who is the only person in the world to have been able to do that. And her boss goes to China, meets his actual wife from China, and how this all conspires and works together. It's very wild. But that's how it happens. That's how it happens. That's how it happens. Right? I'll give you another example. One more example before I jump off of here. Right? I, um, when I, before I started in the fitness industry, I started in real estate. And I had a deep desire to just learn about wealth, learn about real estate. And, and I, had, I really didn't have much money to, to actually invest in it. But somehow, number one, I was, I so happened to be in a car. It was my mom's car. I don't know what I was doing, but I heard on the radio, oh, there's a rich dad, poor dad seminar, or there's a seminar on real estate. So, and I also had the desire to meet wealthy friends. I wanted to have people that were multimillionaires around me or people that were well off already. And so I hear this, this thing on the radio saying, oh, rich dad, poor dad seminar. So I heard that. I heard that. Then I went to, I ended up going to the seminar I meet a guy named Glenn there, Glenn Ashbrillo, who I find was retired at the age of 28 investing in real estate. I go and take this introductory course. Not only he, he also gets into this course as well, but there was a course after that that I absolutely could not afford. I probably could afford it. I could have found the money if I wanted to. Now, in retrospect, when I know exactly how I'm thinking, ultimately, I wanted to get into that course, but I didn't have the money. He says, he says to me, listen, my girlfriend cannot make this event. He just tells me, he's like, my girlfriend cannot make this event. Would you be able to take her spot? Don't worry, I'm not going to charge you for it. And I get to go and take that seminar. Not only that seminar, a bunch of them that I actually had no money or no way of getting into. So guys, if you think this is a joke, I can give you several examples from my life where these type of things happen. And it happens all the time. So the universe is a unbelievably intricate, dynamically changing, but the most important thing, and I want to make sure you guys, that every single person that is on or should be on this call, because I'm not going to be sharing this audio, is that the whole entire thing is it's your, your postures are controlled by what you call your intentions. And that is what we're going to talk about tomorrow. Intentions, intentions. You have six core intentions. And let me give you a little hint. Intentions have nothing to do with money. They have nothing to do with money. Intentions have to do with what you really care about and what you really want. And we're going to talk about that tomorrow. But hopefully this gave you a good example and good insight as to how wild this world is and how things work. And I want you to go and think about your life and how certain things have worked out in a certain way or how things have conspired uh, um, in such a way that you've won right because it's it's super wild right so hope you guys got some value out of that but the goal is to teach you guys about co postulates co-postulates and all these different things and how you can make anything in your life become real all the time every day so have a good one guys i'll see you tomorrow